Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Cosmo the Space Dog. He made his first appearance in Nova, Volume 4, Issue Number 8, that was released in January 2008. He's an Earth dog that's a Golden Retriever Labrador mix and also stands 1 feet 11 inches tall, weighing 70 pounds, while having brown eyes and brown hair, although his eyes do glow blue whenever his power is in use. Now Cosmo is a mutate that developed his powers due to being exposed to cosmic waves. This gave him telepathy, making him able to read and manipulate the minds of other beings, also doing things like projecting telepathic illusions as well as cloaking. He's also known to have extremely precise and accurate telekinetic powers, at times producing psionic blasts and shields. Not to mention that he's decades older than he should be, seeming to no longer age. And to complement these natural abilities, he's typically seen wearing his white spacesuit, which is equipped with various compartments, as well as wearing a unique collar that carries a Tesseract storage crystal chip which can create a pocket dimension that's big enough to hold the entire population of a small world. Now, Cosmo the Space Dog started out as a test animal for the Soviet space program in the 1960s. But on one fateful day, he was launched into Earth's orbit as part of an experiment. But his craft drifted off course, tumbling through space. During this drifting period is when he was exposed to the cosmic rays that would mutate him. And he would ultimately end up at the city called Nowhere, which was built inside the severed head of a celestial in space. Here, due to his loyal and vigilant demeanor, he would quickly become the security chief of the station, going on to meet and assist various different heroes that ventured there. He would notably be a staunch ally of Nova and go on to help him fight against various threats, including the Phalanx. Cosmo would also be key in assisting the first Guardians of the Galaxy team once they selected Nowhere as their base of operations, likewise becoming very close to their leader, Star-Lord. Matter of fact, Cosmo thought so highly of him that after Star-Lord passed, the Space Dog would take it upon himself to gather the Silver Surfer, Gladiator, Beta Ray Bill, Quasar, and Ronan the Accuser to form the Annihilator's team, which was Star-Lord's last wish. Yet still to this day, Cosmo is committed to his duty to protect the people of Nowhere, now working as an integral part of a team known as the Nowhere Corps. Now, for his powers and abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Cosmo the Space Dog a rating of 4, which is a rating of Journeyman. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.